everybody and welcome back to this is the police 2 Chris here it's December 7th and things are going meh we had a bad day yesterday you're gonna get dried out okay um, I've been thinking about this so we're gonna put Barodka and Guzman on the uh, investigation they don't have great intelligence but it keeps them out of the way and they're worn out so Everyone else will just leave on the main jobs. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Okay. So, do, 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 uh, give you a shock. Uh, shock. Oh, no, not you. Not you. Not you. You. Put you on that. Give you that as well. Ferretti, you can go all the way along. There we go. Everyone's got something. Except for those two, obviously, but yeah. Bridget Cooper. Mr. Nash, I'm a cook at the police station. And the happiest woman in the world. I just got married. They were filming a reality show in Sharpwood called, called <clears throat> You Won't Want to Eat This. It was attended by a famous Serbian chef, which was Michelin star. We met by coincidence and realized that we could live without each other. So we arranged a wedding as quickly as we could. Now we're leaving for a honeymoon trip across Europe. Don't know when we'll be returned, but I'm sure we'll have a great time. Sorry about the mess in the kitchen. I hope your cops don't starve while I'm away. Yep, they're going to starve. Cops write n new notes with their food preferences. You better consider all of it if you don't want to be eaten alive. Oh. Not picky, eat whatever they're offering. My neighbour told me to drink a glass of milk once a day. He said it strengthens the libido. It strengthens the um, thing. I love French fries. I could eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's no French fries on there, so you'll. Damn. Fine slice of cherry pie. <clears throat> That'll make me happy today. Okay, so we can, oh, we can switch between things. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, we have, well, we have a budget. We have a budget. Okay, this is going to be tough. All right, so you're not picky. You're not picky. You want milk. You want fries. You want cherry pie. Okay, so if we go for fries and cherry pie. Picky, not picky, not picky. Can't stand baked potatoes. Okay. They say that hot dogs are bad for your health. I say it's nonsense. I can eat it. Can anything that tastes so good be bad for you? Yes. Do you really think the sausages are made of meat? I don't care. Just don't order a hot dog for me. White bean and hand soup. Ugh. Vegetable soup, burger and fries. Milk. Do you have to get it below 500? Oh, that's what the budget is. It costs you 100. Fine. <clears throat> we can go with this. Fine. Uh, Guzman, Baroka, and we'll deal with everything else. Um, so, no, we don't want you looking for clues. No. Guzman, new frames. We're going to cover both options. I think it's the funeral director. But we're going to cover both options. It's better to cover both than not. Because I can't do that. So. Just get through the day. That's all they say. I really should stop singing random songs. Harvey Romero. Mr. Nash, I'm in some serious damn trouble. 
I have a small business. I keep an ice hole where you can take a nice break and freshen up. But one of my customers recently got drunk and drowned. His body is still somewhere down there under the ice right now. This guy was connected, so if his corpse comes back up some, come springtime, his boys will think me first. I might put a few holes in me before they, the, they figure out what really happened. Basically, I need to get this damn corpse out of my hole right away and find somewhere to bury it. My grandfather left me an old dry diving suit that we could use to help find the body. Send me your quickest cop and let him dive down under and get the corpse. If you help me out here, I'll set you up, you and your men up, with private ice hole where you can freshen up any time. Which would be nice because it means we could actually uh, sort this out. Speed? Anyone? Is anyone fast? Rosencrantz. Okay. Um, we'll, we will take care of you, buddy. Uh, you want flashbangs. You want gold. Gold. Always believe in your soul. Sorry. What is it you want? Oh, you wanted that Fury Cola stuff, didn't you? Um, we still don't have Paprika. Three most attentive cops. That's not gonna happen, buddy. That's not gonna happen. You want someone to go down and swim there. Rosencrantz, I'm sending you. Don't be long. Because um, you're our fastest cop. Um, and then we do... 553 in progress. That, because we're going to... Uh, that one. Right. Um, goat horn. Okay, we're short of people now. 1,500. No, we knew. We'll have to let it go. This is bad. This is this is really bad. Super bad. Five fifteen in progress. Carjacking. Eight hundred and thirty. That's more deal. Man in a raincoat ran up to a motorcyclist stop, uh, stop light, pushed him onto the asphalt, and stole his bike. Eight thirty. He's being pickled. You're damn right you won't. Let's get your butt back here, buddy. Just nice that diamond suit stank of rotten fish. Anyway, I swam down under the ice, quickly found the corpse and pulled it back up to the surface. I still don't understand why some grumpy old guy collected the body instead of the regular guys from the walk. Awesome. Diving in the ice hole invigorates the body, spirit, and clears the mind as well. When a cop dives down into the ice water, all his problems dissolve without a trace. After the dive, they can kick back and enjoy a glass of whiskey to warm up. It's on the house. Uh, okay, cop, we're glad to spend a few hours in the winter nights. Don't worry, we don't sell alcohol here, just invigorating shot with infusion. That's speed. It costs a lot, that's the only problem. The alcohol trim is awesome. Fight! 11.45. This is getting slightly stupid. Two freight loaders are grappling with each other. One's leg is pinned under a heavy box of canned food. We're going to have to hold. Wait, 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 wait. Patrol guard caught up with a man wearing a raincoat and sunglasses. Push him into the curb. Yeah, push him into the curb. French, push him into the curb. The man on the motorcycle and pistol, the patrol car, moved to turn and shut down the narrow alleyway. Shoot out his tires. 515 complete. Of course he did. 
526 in progress. You're kidding me, we don't have enough. Oh, this is bad. 2120. We're going to have a bad day at the office, guys. We are going to have a bad day at the office. I have to send everybody. 555 in progress. Yeah, we know. Just looked. Most people I've got a golf heart smell like an idiot. Civilian dead. This is going to cost us stuff. In progress. Oh, you're kidding me. Alright, we've got the attempted murder, extortion, reckless driving. Tyrants have approached the owner of a small mill demanding he pay a fine for daring to cut down the forest. A woman called in angry that some driver had rushed it. Around outside her house. Oh. That's five cops to do that one job. How much for the extortion? Six fifty. All right, one. Two, three, it's nowhere near, is it? Reckless driving? 945. If we do the attempted murder, there's a chance we're gonna, we're not gonna get someone killed, basically. Um, I know that's kind of important. We lose a lot of tabs for that. Yeah, we're done. Five thirty-eight in progress. A shooting. Sixteen twenty. These are stupid numbers. They really are. Rope around the dentist's neck. Crowd lynches and fighting parishioners. Angry woman yells, "Let's hang the red-skinned person." He wouldn't give me any extra anesthetic herbs, and he saw. Me. I saw he had a whole box of them. Whack him with a thing. Cop hits the bully in the kidneys with a bat and the criminal rising pain and lets go of the dentist who tears his nuke from him. Bully snatches a roll from his pocket. Pepper spray. 526 complete. Hey, you actually went up. Congratulations. Have some strength. Fortunately, we might get the shooting done, but we're not going to get anything else. False alarm, figured extortion, civilian dead, of course. Sixteen twenty. Caradog Puskas. It must have been a serious relationship. You know how sometimes there's no living with a woman, but you can't do without them either, right? Well, I've been married 22 years. I've suffered every day, but I endured. But now my wife announces she wants to divorce me. She wants to divorce me. Can you imagine? You think I'm supposed to put up with this? Long story short, I can't allow it to happen. I know exactly what needs to be done. Let's have her spend a day in prison. You can figure out a charge, plant some drugs on her, whatever you want to do. Nobody knows better than the police. Then let her spend a day sweating out in cell, thinking about life. Then I'll come and bail her out. That's 
ought to get her head straight. It says that out to get her head straight. Where else are you going to get a reliable man like me? I'll pay you a hundred bucks for every hour she spends in your lockup. Sounds like a good deal to me. You normally put people behind bars for free. Okay, is that it? Apparently so. Some of the cages are filled with dead dogs. The ones still alive are barking wildly, trying to break out. A hefty man wearing large boots is reloading his gun. Shoot the man. Ferretti? No. Climsy? 538 complete. Dogs immediately calmed down. Of course they did. More pharmaceuticals. Sweet. Okay, open investigation. Let's see what they got for us. That's it. One each. Well, they're not exactly smart people, are they? They were just single line of intelligence. Miss Nash, the day has come. I rented the perfect room for our video theatre. Right in the centre of town. I've got a great deal in the place. Everything is ready for the grand opening. Now it's all up to you. Did you get the equipment? Nope. It's not real. <sighs> Fine. Job's done. That was a bad day. Of course. I'm fairly sure you're cheating, buddy. Eighteen. Okay. King. Oh. King. Queen. Ah, space card. You get nineteen, twenty, or twenty one. not being really good here. I'm, I'm normally really good at predicting this. King. Jack. Face card. I should just say face, shouldn't I? We're going to lose again. Face. Damn, I'm good. He wins, we lose. Surprise, surprise. Thanks for playing, Mr. Nash, and don't be discouraged. You'll be lucky next time. And don't forget about the $500 and portable TV ships. I'm, I'm yeah, expecting it tomorrow. Fine, whatever. He only has like two tabs. It's a taser cartridge. Okay. We have 27. <sighs> Sullivan could be picked up, but. Nope. Don't need another taser. I will take the stun grenade. Right. Rosencrantz, you got to take it off. So with Gudsman, Clemsey, Pastrami, you're on Birch. Baroka, you've got to be off. Wallbag, Fletcher, and then, 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 then. French, you're out. Percy. I need an extra cop. There you go. End of the day. Story. Hello? It's me. Are you awake? What do you think? 
Listen, I talked to Shapiro about Plunkett's situation. The truth is bad. He might not even make it to the end of the month. I, I don't know what he did wrong, but the dicks from the mayor's office don't even want to meet with him. But tomorrow, one of them will be considering your request. At least A.V. Carlos has to be there. Do you know what that means? I'm not... <sighs> Come on, Reeves. Plunkett needs to show off, to show them that he has everything under control. He'll need to puff himself up like a tough leader, the only thing holding the prosecutor's office together. Which means you're the ideal target for him to show them what a tough boss he is, you see? To, to put it simply, whatever happens tomorrow, just nod and don't say anything except yes, sir. And hopefully the blowback won't get out of hand. Lana? Are you still there? <laughs> You'd really like that, right? For me to always say, yes, sir, and that's it. Lena, what are you talking about? Look, I, I, I am trying to, well, sort of like trying to save you. Don't you get it? Good night, Reeves. Mm, not sure. Oh, we're done. Doesn't need to be an enough story kind of filling this out so you're not entirely sure what's going on. It jumps around a bit. Mm. The game is definitely getting harder, but we seem to be holding our own. Ish. Sort of. But anyway. <sighs> Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel, like we saw, please do consider subscribing. But until next time, you lot take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.